Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about Indonesia and soccer. Indonesia and FIFA to be exact. What happens is Indonesia was supposed to be the host of U20 or soccer World Cup for people who are 20 and under. But FIFA canceled Indonesia and now they are looking for another host. All the preparation were already made. Now it has to be uh, now no more because the governor of Bali refused to have the to refuse the uh, team from Israel to come to Bali because of what's going on in Israel and Palestine. Indonesia has no diplomatic relationship with Israel, only with the Palestine. And Indonesia is a strong, strong supporter of Palestine. Now, the governor of Central Java also voiced support of the Palestine. Now, two governors in Indonesia refused to have the team from Israel to play because the, the soccer World Cup is not only in Bali but also in Solo, in San Java, and I believe also in Jakarta. Now, it's the dream is gone because of these two people. I am disappointed because these two cannot separate politics and soccer. Indonesia supported Palestine. Sure, they can support whoever they want. But now, look at the cost. Indonesia lost the only chance to play in the World Cup and Indonesian uh, soccer team they were very disappointed they were actually crying some of them were crying because of the decision the poor decision made by these two and the president of Indonesia did not really do anything I am very disappointed because I, I thought the president of Indonesia was a pretty decent guy. But again, he is the same like the two governors. They could not separate soccer between soccer and politics. The consulate of Palestine in Indonesia says they have no problem with Israel playing. They have no problem. Because soccer is soccer, that's what they say. It's not nothing about politics, which is weird. <laughs> now, this, the problem is not only that, right? the problem is uh, very, this is the weirdest part. In 2015, Badminton World Cup was held in Indonesia, and a couple of players from Israel were there playing and no problem. Nobody said anything. In 2022, 2022 September, climbing World Cup was, all, was also held in Indonesia. And one of the climbers was from Israel. And there was no problem. And in the same year, eSport, if you play video games, you know what eSport is also was held in Bali and again there was no problem nobody voiced any objection and all of a sudden now objection they don't want the team from Israel to come and play very very strange right this is the problem a lot of Indonesian maybe will be angry when I say this 
Okay, Indonesia. From the Declaration of Independence, they is very clear. They don't want to support any country who colonize other country. Which is I understand because Indonesia just got out, right? But the problem is with that. After the Dutch left Indonesia, people from Java grabbing at people from different islands, from Sumatra, from Borneo, from Sulawesi, from other island, and telling them we are one country, which I don't care, I don't mind, except one West Papua. West Papua, if you see the skin, is black. They don't have the same feature as other Indonesians. I understand some Indonesians are more yellow because they are maybe a descendant of the, from China or something like that. But most Indonesians normally are light brown. They look like light brown. If you don't know what we Indonesians look like, you can see the people from the Philippines. Very similar to, to them. That's the or Indonesian. How Indonesian look like. And suddenly, when you check people from West Papua, which is different island, the skin is black, like African. Although the face is not African face, but still, the indigenous. They look like uh, the indigenous uh, Maori from Australia or from New Zealand, something like that. Very, very, now it's not dark skin, but it's black. So it's not darker brown, dark brown, no, just black. So Indonesia, <laughs> in other words, I want to say, we, Indonesia, colonize West Papua. West Papua should be independent, or at least together with Papua New Guinea, because they are from the same island. Papua New Guinea is in the east, and West Papua is in the west. And they are they're, they're one people, but yet half of the island is under Indonesia. How come? Because we annex them. Because we, we are the colonizer here. And yet, when Israel doing something like this, Indonesian governor, uh, government protesting against Israel. But yet, they're doing the same thing. People from West Papua been fighting the government, the government of, uh, of Indonesia. They're fighting the army. They have to send army there. And then what Indonesian government been doing is sending people from Java Island to Papua, West Papua, and tell them to live there. We are annexing the area. We are annexing that place. And yet we are criticizing Israel for doing the same thing, exactly the same thing. When Israel is going to West Bank, the settler built houses there, Indonesian complain, Indonesian government. The government of Indonesia complain about it. And yet, we are doing the same, exact same thing. Very, I'm very, very sad, and I don't know what to say to this, about this. I mean, many Indonesians actually will hate me for saying this because they will, take, they will say, oh, we are one Indonesia, we are one Indonesia. We, we were brainwashed all our lives. What can I say? It's, it's, I am very sad. Double standard, double standard. Very bad. Anyway, that's all from me for tonight. Thank you for watching and listening, whether you are pro-Israel or pro-Palestine. 
God bless you all. Oh, by the way, before I go, I do understand what's going on in Israel. I'm not supporting Israel blindly just because. I do understand Christians also having hard time in Israel. There are two members of Knesset who propose the idea of banning the preaching of gospel. I do understand. But however, it doesn't matter what I like or do not like about Israel. But we must have one standard, not double standard. That's all I want. That's all I'm hoping, actually. Not I. Anyway, that's all from me for tonight. Again, whether you, pro, you are pro-Israel or pro-Palestine or in the middle, God bless you all. Have a nice life.